In this video, I will show you how to install MX Linux on a USB drive. MX Linux recently celebrated 10 years of existence on March 24th. And for the past 5 years, it was ranked number 1 on the DistroWatch homepage. Which is amazing. So in this video, I will explain why I think that MX Linux is one of the best distros out there. And we will also install it on a USB drive. But as always, before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev, or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe, and smash the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. So what you can see here is the official MX Linux website. And I also mentioned that MX Linux is ranked number one on DistroWatch. So let's open DistroWatch. This is it. And now here on the right side, if I scroll down, you should see the page hit ranking and it is set to the last six months. And here, as you can see, MX Linux is ranked number one, followed by Linux Mint, Endeavor, Debian, Manjaro, Ubuntu, Fedora, Zorin, PopOS, and so on. So you would probably expect to see those big names here, like Ubuntu or Mint. But seeing MX Linux here at the top of the list is interesting. And this is true for the past five years, since 2019. If I scroll down again, 2019, MX Linux, first place. So what is this actually? Let's see the explanation. Those are DistroWatch page hit rankings. And it says that only one hit per IP address per day is counted. And I also mentioned that this should not be used to measure the market share of a distribution. It simply shows the number of times a distribution page on DistroWatch was accessed each day. Nothing more. So down here we can see MX Linux always occupying the first place. And even though it's just a simple watch counter, it's interesting to see how many times a DistroWatch page was accessed. So what is MX Linux and why is it watched more than the rest? MX Linux is a Debian-based distribution, but so are many other Linux distributions. For the desktop, it offers XFCE, KDE Plasma and Fluxbox. So it should be very stable because it's based on Debian. And it's also probably very lightweight since it offers XFCE and Fluxbox. MX Linux also offers some very unique tools that basically no other distribution has. Like the MX Snapshot, where you can create a snapshot of your system as a live ISO or MX Package Installer, MX User Manager, MX Tweaks. All of those tools are called MX Tools and are very unique for MX Linux. Now combine this with stability, good performance, simple user interface and reliability and you get one of the best Linux distros out there. Now without further ado, let's see how to install this one. Back to MX Linux and let's go to download. Here you can choose the desktop environment, XFCE is the recommended one, and also interesting to see here, you have MX23.2 advanced hardware support. So this one is for very recent machines, 6.6 .6 is the kernel, you also get newer graphics drivers. So for this video, I will go with this one. Now let's wait for the download, it has 2.1 gigabytes. This ISO file that is currently downloaded contains the live installer. So it's not the full system yet, we first need to flash this one on a USB drive. And then we will use this USB drive to install MX Linux on a second USB drive. So yes, again, we will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this live installer can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second one where we will install the full MX Linux on should be a more faster one. Otherwise the whole system will be very slow and you will get really frustrated and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. I'm using one with 128GB and you can find the referral link down in the description. Now with that said, the download is complete, so let's flash this one on a USB drive and therefore I will use a tool called Rufus. Now this is Rufus, my distro flashing tool of choice. Scroll down, here is the link, let's open it, and here it is. Now it's the right time to plug in the first USB drive, the off-the-shelf stick. I will do it as well. Rufus has recognized the drive, now let's select the ISO. Here it is, 
And as you can see, I also have the Nomad BSD 14 release here. In a previous video, I also showed you how you can install Nomad BSD on a USB drive, which is my favorite free BSD distribution and also a perfect Linux replacement. So if you want to run Nomad BSD yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Let's continue with MX Linux. Leave everything else on default and select start. ISO image mode is okay. Do I want to use a newer version of Grub? Yes, I want. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have something important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Finished, let's close it. The USB drive with the live environment is now ready and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive. Make sure to disable secure boot and fast boot on your machine. Then plug in the USB drive, restart the system and while the system is restarting press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu and inside the menu select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you after the reboot. So here I am inside MX Linux live environment and now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full MX Linux installation. I will do it as well. So if you want you can try out MX Linux here but it is a live environment so everything you do here will be lost after you reboot. In my case I want to install MX Linux so select install. Here you can change your keyboard layout. In my case US English is OK. And next. We want regular install using entire disk. And now here select the USB drive that you just plugged in. In my case this is the one. If you want you can encrypt the drive and also enable hibernation support. But I will leave those disabled. And next. And now here you have a warning. These actions cannot be undone. So everything that is currently on the second USB drive will be deleted. If you have something important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue and start. Now while this is preparing the partitions, you can change your computer name and domain. I will change this to Ada and next. I will just go with the defaults, so American English is OK. Time zone, also OK. Time format, I actually want this one. If you want to change some service settings, you can change those here. For me, the defaults are OK as they are. Now add your user. If you want, you can also add a root account, but I will continue without. And now let's wait. Perfect, installation completed. Now let's reboot and boot into MX Linux. Again, you will need to open the boot menu, but this time select the second USB drive. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you after the reboot. And here it is, MX Linux running from a USB drive. We also got this welcome screen, I will close it. And now if I remember correctly, if I press F4, we get a drop down terminal. Let's try NeoFetch. The kernel is 6.6 .6, and this particular one is a variant optimized for responsiveness. We got the XFCE desktop and the memory consumption is about 900 megabytes. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. This particular kernel variant is a good choice if you want to game on Linux. In a previous video I also showed you how you can set up your Linux machine for gaming and I also did a Linux versus Windows gameplay performance comparison. So if you want to game on Linux or just want to know which platform is better then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video then like and subscribe and if you really like the video down there is a super thanks so you can buy me a coffee for instance so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.